everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155 pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up at 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing is first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Only a professional record of 18 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Walburn, Massachusetts, Rob Ball! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, only a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it clear. to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag the striker to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jabs, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. All right, he'll engage 
in a single collar tie. Stuffs the net, potentially a critical, and this might just be a matter of time. Oh, nice. offense from the bottom. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Going for the arm here. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. the win tonight here by way of submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. Now let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habib the Eagle. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.